Good evening, I'm meteorologist John Patrick. Another broken record to tell you about. Westington Springs reporting 34.38 inches of rain, making it their wettest year on record. Now keep in mind it's only August and we still have five months to add to this total. We have some severe watches and warnings to tell you about out west along the Missouri River. That includes counties of Hyde, Buffalo, Todd, Tripp, and Millette. Now, the severe thunderstorm warning goes until 8.30 this evening. Some of the storms entering this area are capable of producing wind gusts up to 80 miles an hour and about one inch size hail. More severe weather possible tonight. We'll have the latest tonight at 10. 64 here in Sioux Falls, so a very nice and comfortable night. I'm meteorologist John Patrick. The Big Sioux is evidence of the large amounts of rain we've seen over the past couple of days. Good evening. We interrupt regularly scheduled programming to bring you a severe weather update. National Weather Service has just issued a tornado warning for Lockheed Parle County. Now this goes until 715 tonight and if we zoom in on this tornadic storm, you can see just to the east of the Appleton area, there has actually been reports of some brief touchdowns by a tornado with some flying debris as well. So if you are in this area, you're going to want to see shelter immediately and get to the interior room of your home and business. Yep, don't forget that umbrella if you're going to be spending any time outside this uh, all right, thank you, John. Have a good night. Good evening, I'm meteorologist John Patrick. We really lucked out with those storms from last night, recording just under half an inch here in Sioux Falls. 0.32 for you there in Watertown and just under a half an inch again in Sisseton now. I say we really lucked out with this one because the same system is dumping anywhere from about three to five inches of rain on portions of Minnesota right now. However, it did leave us mostly cloudy throughout much of the day today. 79 right now in Sioux Falls, 83 for you there in Mitchell, and a pair of 85s down here in Winter and Valentine. So very nice day temperature wise, but dew points here in the southeast still well up into the 70s. 70 for you there in Yankton and 70 in Sioux Falls. Now these are going to start to drop come Saturday evening. I'll have that for you in just a second. Winds out of the north northwest anywhere from about 5 to 15 miles an hour. 7 miles an hour for you there in Sioux Falls. 6 miles an hour out of the north in Huron and 15 miles an hour for Pier in Mobridge. Take a look at some of these regional temperatures sitting not too bad here in Sioux Falls. However, you can really see where our next cold front is. A uh, couple of 60s down in Glasgow and Billings, and that's going to be working its way into South Dakota come Saturday afternoon. Now, our temperature is going to get down into the 60s, probably not, but still very nice conditions on the way. So let me take you through the next couple of days. There's that area of low pressure that worked through last night and throughout the day today. That's continuing to work its way off towards the east leaving us mostly clear throughout the night and much of the day on Saturday. But as this cold front works into our area, going to start to see some storms fire up Saturday afternoon and uh, not going to be a washout by any means. Isolated chances at best, and that's going to quickly work off towards the east, uh, taking all that humidity with it. So good news come Sunday, going to be mostly clear. Dew points down into the 40s and 50s and temperatures uh, mainly in the 70s for most of us. So a nice day come Sunday. So if you want to make any plans for the weekend, make them for Sunday because it is just going to be a gorgeous day tonight. Ever so slight chance of rain out west along that Missouri River Valley. 56 up in Mobridge, 61 in Chamberlain. 58 up in Aberdeen, 62 in Brookings, and a low of 65 degrees here in Sioux Falls. Did leave that chance of storms for the far eastern portions of our area as that low pressure is still in western Minnesota. But tomorrow, very nice temperature wise. We do have that chance of storms in the afternoon hours as that cold front works through. But 75 in Mobridge, 80 in Chamberlain, 77 up in Aberdeen, 80 for you there in Marshall, and we're looking like a high of 82 here in Sioux Falls. Now take a look at Sunday. Sun's going to be shining, but temperatures down into the 70s, so very nice, and that's going to last into the beginning of your work week as well. Temperatures down a couple of degrees below average, so a very nice week ahead. And joining us now is meteorologist John Patrick. And John, today was an awesome day to head outside. Hopefully people got out and enjoyed this weather. Exactly. A great day to get outside. Maybe check out the Sioux Empire Fair. Uh, just spend some time outside with the family. Partly cloudy skies throughout much of the day, but really clearing out going into the evening hours. And that's going to be the case uh, throughout the night and into tomorrow as well, where we're looking mostly clear. The temperatures today, very nice. Never even got out of the 70s for most of us. We're currently sitting at 71 here in Sioux Falls. Take a look at the 60s out east. 64 in Worthington, 69 down in Spencer. 74 for you there in Chamberlain and uh, uh, sitting at 75 right now in Pierre. Some more good news, dew points in the 40s and 50s, and that has us feeling very 
very comfortable, far less humid than we've been really for the past couple of weeks. Now, that's generally because the winds are out of the north northwest about 5 to 15 miles an hour, and that's bringing in that much cooler and drier air. 5 miles an hour in Sioux Falls, 9 miles an hour for you there in Huron, and 13 miles an hour in Mobridge. Now, we do have a high pressure in place. That's why we are so clear. But uh, come Monday afternoon, we're going to start to see some changes as that high pressure moves off towards the east. Going to start to see some clouds increase by uh, late Monday afternoon. And then uh, Futurecast picking up on some storms in Nebraska. Those could stretch all the way up to the southern portions of South Dakota uh, come Monday evening and through the overnight hours on Tuesday. And then uh, Tuesday, we're looking mostly cloudy for uh, most of the area. And then more chances of storms come Tuesday night. So that's something we'll be keeping an eye on for you over the next 24 to 48 hours or so. Tonight, though, not going to have to deal with any of that. Uh, mostly clear for most of us. A very cool night. 55 in Chamberlain, uh, 53 for you there in Pier, and 49 for a low tonight in Mowbridge, 50 in Brookings, and we're looking like a low of 53 degrees here in Sioux Falls. So very quiet and about five degrees below average. Now tomorrow, gonna start to heat back up into the 80s along that Missouri River Valley. Uh, there's that chance of storms down south for you there in winter, a high of 84, 81 in Huron, 78 for high in Brookings, and 79 here in Sioux Falls. So a very nice day, but those changes come Monday evening. Now here's a look at your next seven days. Monday looking very nice for most of us and then chances of storms uh, return Tuesday and that's going to be the case throughout much of the week. 20 to 30 percent chance all the way through Saturday, but some good news though. The temperatures are going to be a couple of degrees below the average throughout most of the week. So not too bad. Uh, if you can bear the rain, just uh, bring that umbrella along with you if you're going to be heading out this week.